Hello everyone and welcome. My name is William Guzman Jr. and I am a medical and biological illustration Master of Arts candidate enrolled in the Department of Art as Applied to Medicine. I will be presenting my thesis depicting a novel proposed pathway for prostate cancer precursor lesion development using 3D animation. The prostate is a small walnut-sized organ that rests between the base of the penis and the bladder. The image on the left is a 3D model of the prostate in anatomical orientation. The prostate is composed of fibrous tissue, muscular tissue, and complex networks of ducts known as glands. Here in the image on the right, we can appreciate the gland anatomy in detail. Prostate cancer is one of the most common cancers among men. Luminal epithelial cells have been regarded as the cell of origin of prostate cancer. Recent evidence suggests that prostate cancer may be attributed to both bacterial infection and chronic inflammation, which can lead to gene fusion events between a normally expressed gene that codes for transmembrane protease serine 2, tempers 2, and erythroblastosis virus E26 oncogene homolog, ERG, a gene that codes for an oncoprotein. Typically, Normal healthy luminal cells do not express the ERG oncogene, but in about 50% of prostate cancer cases, the ERG gene is fused with tempers 2 which causes cells to express ERG and may lead to the formation of lesions known as proliferative inflammatory atrophy, PIA. Specifically staining for ERG allows us to appreciate the production and presence of this oncoprotein, which strongly supports this hypothesis. Precursor lesion development is studied through 2D sections in the microscope slides. The prostate is sliced into several sections and further prepared for histological analysis. Viewing the formation of this multidimensional development process through microscope slides is challenging as it is impossible to see the pathway in action. Even with all the different modalities of studying the prostate, most of what we know is largely attributed by looking at still sections. Figure A displays the slicing process to create sections of prostate tissue in order to be further prepared in Figure B to become a histological slide. This limits the researchers to only portraying 2D data when presenting new findings. The first goal of this thesis was to effectively communicate the complexity of recent evidence to graduate students and researchers outside of the prostate oncology field. The second goal was to produce an animation. Histology was translated into an animation because this is easily understood by those who are not used to looking at cancer solely through the microscope. The key concepts emphasized in the animation were the cellular interactions between the inflammatory cells, bacteria, and luminal epithelial cells. Resources and visual references provided were existing microscopy datasets which included high-resolution scanning electron microscope imaging. Histology data from 15 radical prostatectomy specimens was also provided by the Sphanos lab and was accessed using Procia, a pathology viewing software. For the creation of the animation, I used the following software. Cinema 4D, Redshift, Adobe After Effects, Adobe Audition, Adobe Photoshop, ZBrush, and Procia. A script was first developed to establish the word choice and pacing of the final animation. After, storyboards were created to be used as visual reference for the scenes that match the script. Finally, the script and storyboards were stitched together to create a 2D animation known as an animatic. I will now play the final animation created for this project. Prostate cancer is one of the most common malignant neoplasms among men in Western countries. The only known risk factors for prostate cancer are advanced age, family history, and African ancestry. Genetics, diet, and other lifestyle-related factors may also play a role. Recently, chronic inflammation has been linked to the growth and development of several solid cancers and may contribute to prostate carcinogenesis. Studying the histology of the prostate offers pathologists valuable insights into the possible pathogenesis of prostate cancer. Within the prostate are small compound tubular alveolar ducts known as prostatic glands. 
These glands are made of pseudostratified columnar luminal epithelial cells and simple squamous basal cells surrounded by a stroma of connective tissue and smooth muscle. In a normal prostate, the glandular luminal epithelial cells have very low cellular turnover and rarely proliferate. Inflammation in the prostate is associated with the development of proliferative inflammatory atrophy, PIA, a proposed precursor lesion to prostate cancer development. Unlike normal prostatic epithelial cells, luminal cells involving PIA have high cellular turnover and are highly proliferative. As foreign bacteria invade the glands, immune cells such as neutrophils, macrophages, and monocytes quickly begin to populate the lumen and release cytokines. This inflammatory state drives immune cells to produce reactive oxygen species and reactive nitrogen species that may cause DNA damage and DNA breaks. In addition, the invading bacteria can produce genotoxins such as colobactin, present in E. coli, that may also induce DNA damage in luminal epithelial cells. When inflammatory oxidants and or bacterial genotoxins leads to DNA breaks, abnormal gene fusions may result. Transmembrane protease serine 2, temperase 2, is a protein regularly expressed and driven by androgen receptor signaling within the luminal cells of the prostate. Along the same chromosomal strand of DNA is a gene for erythroblastosis virus E26 oncogene homologue, ERG, a known oncogene. In normal functioning luminal epithelial cells, ERG is not expressed. However, Recent evidence has shown that in about 50% of prostate cancer cases in the U.S., the promoter region of the Tempers 2 gene has become fused to the coding region of the ERG gene, causing cells to express the ERG oncoprotein. It is hypothesized that genomic damage caused by infections and inflammation promote the formation of the Tempers 2 ERG gene fusion, possibly playing a very early and not yet well understood role in the development of prostate cancer. The ERG-expressing cells replicate and displace the ERG-negative luminal epithelial cells in the PIA lesion. These atrophic cells release pro-inflammatory cytokines and other acute inflammatory proteins to further increase immune cell count within the glands. At some point, perhaps with the acquisition of additional genomic and or epigenomic alterations, these ERG-expressing cells invade the basement membrane. Once the luminal cells infiltrate the stroma, the basal cells are no longer maintained, and the ERG-expressing cells are now consistent with prostate adenocarcinoma. The animation will be viewable on my website, Plasma Visuals, and on the Spanos Laboratory website. This animation will be part of a research paper that is in the final stages of preparation, for which I will be a co-author. Some future considerations for the project include exploring other cellular processes that also contribute to prostate cancer and the development of a subpage within the Sphanos Lab website that will host an interactive model of prostate cancer. I would like to thank Karen Sphanos, my preceptor, the researchers in the Sphanos Lab, Tim Phelps, my faculty advisor, and David Rainey, my technical advisor, for their constant support and guidance throughout the completion of this project. I would also like to give a warm thank you to the faculty and staff in the Department of Art as Applied to Medicine, my classmates in the class of 2020, and the first years. I now encourage any feedback, questions, or comments.